it's a historic historic moment from the <laughs> Russian accordion channel I finally got the accordion man uh, what's today today is uh, what day is it today? 14th one month and one day that's what it took for this accordion to arrive from from uh, Russia but I see here it says fragile I see here all my information like the um, Pavel you know the shipper the seller did a uh, good job here with everything is written down you know his address in case it gets returned and then my address here everything is cool so now I just want to go back to my hotel and we're gonna do unboxing and hopefully nothing is damaged because you know that's always uh, a possibility because it flew 7500 kilometers that's the distance between Moscow and uh, Toronto which is about what uh, 5,000 miles and over here he put fragile some kind of customs paperwork and I said do I need do I owe you any money for for duties he says no nope. so did they leave any paperwork I'm supposed to fill out and and the owner of uh, of the post office says no nope, nothing I say why did I have to pay duties when I was buying something in the States this is coming all the way from Russia but it's a made in Russia product and he says I don't know so the guy just dropped it off and because I put in my email address for tracking I saw an email right away and I'm sitting here in this plaza where my post office is and I told the owner I said I'm here I know it's coming today because I got the last uh, last uh, update was on vehicle for delivery so it was supposed to come in tomorrow then they change it it says now it's come it's on the vehicle for delivery and I was tracking and then I saw an email says delivered and I saw a small UP a small uh, Canada Post van leaving so I rushed inside and the guy didn't even have time to put it away and I said Sergey Drachev and he said here you go sir so very excited hold on let me it's not gonna fit in here let me put it on the back seat One thing I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried about is that this is supposed to be a green, green accordion, and the model is three, sorry, three o one, three zero one M, three zero one M, green in color. Here on the side. On the other side it says Tulskaya, Tulskaya Fabrika, which is Tula factory of accordions, but on this side it says Chor, Chornaya, black, and here it says Kulikova Pole, accordion, Kulikova Pole, which is, which is the other brand, like those, those are two budget, two budget accordions, the cheapest one is 301M, and then the next one up with uh, improved uh, as they call it mechanics or keyboard mechanism on the melody side that's the only distinction is the Kulikova Polia Kulikov field that's just the name of the uh, model and that's what I wanted to have because that one has a nicer more tender more gentle buttons on the right side right but the guy didn't have it he said it's sold he says you only have a i only have the green 301 m i said okay i'll take it i just want to start you know learning 
So time now is 11 o'clock. Probably let me just go have a quick lunch because I don't want to come back here later. And then we'll go do a full unboxing. And of course, the most important thing is to check that uh, all buttons work, that all buttons produce sounds, that nothing is cracked, nothing is broken. Because if anything broken, I'm basically screwed. Because of course, it has warranty, but I I'm 7,500 7, clicks or 5,000 miles away from Russia. I'm not gonna fly there to do a warranty repair or you know I just want to start learning start playing so today is gonna be one exciting video at least for me so the next thing you'll see after I have my quick lunch is uh, me cutting open the box cool think is it gonna be green or is it gonna be black the box says black the shipper said the seller sent me a picture which I uh, I posted in my last video and it's supposed to be green which one I would prefer but but uh, Kulikova Poly you know that's the one I originally wanted that's it's a better like I said it's a slightly better instrument because of the improved mechanism onto the right keyboard oh man it's hot in here check this out 76 f so what do you guys say shall we unbox the monster <laughs> I didn't look inside, I just did an inspection. Just did an inspection. Where did this come from? Some kind of a wiggly waggly crocodile fell out of here. It's probably when I put it on the ground. I put it on the ground before putting it in my car all right yeah that's what i mean over here it says garmon kulikova poly chor black it's like the first three letters of the word chornaya okay let's see do i have to pay any duties because i think i saw here something like what is this beautiful piece of paper Maybe it was for... Maybe it was for the customs. She has all kinds of seals. Oh, it's the seller. The seller. Who sold it. The price and the special code, you know, like a tariff. Okay, so I don't see anything over there. 
here everything is in Russian, so this is still from Russia. Basically showing my address. This is the customs declaration. But yeah, this is again everything is in Russian. I guess that's what he had to fill out. Yeah, he had to fill out this the seller. But again, I don't see anything for me, you know, for the receiver, which is kind of strange. But you know, <laughs> I don't want to pay it. It just I don't want them because once it happened is that I bought something in the States. I think it was something for my camera. Because sometimes I use that B and H photo. Very nice store in the States. Huh. And the first thing I see is the picture of my shipper. That's the guy that uh, I bought this uh, Garmoin from. His name is Pavel. Pavel Uhanov. He's a famous musician and he you can always see him on TV and this is and that's his wife. She's a singer. I saw them performing together on uh, on YouTube. And you see what this is? I got this as well. So this is the Pesenik Garmanista. Like a song notepad for an accordion player. And this one has 50 songs that this guy arranged for the accordion man so I will have in three four months this should not look like a weird 22nd century alien language to me but <laughs> it should look like yeah these are all like famous I know these songs like the words Прощайте скалистые горы. That's a famous song of uh, seamen. You know, um, Прощайте скалистые горы. На подвиг отчизна зовет. Oh yeah, over here, everywhere it says Обр, обработка. Обработка Павла Уханова. So arranged by Pavel Uhanov. So that's what I like. That's what I bought this because, you know, um, the generic ones you can find them in russia but they all for you know piano and stuff like that but accordion has a reduced range of notes and so what's cool about this is that this is specific for this particular uh instrument yeah this is great so uh 50 songs specifically arranged for the accordion with the Russian words and, and notes. See both melody and, ba and bass. At least I remember this. The, the top one is melody, the <laughs> bottom one is bass. <laughs> and I somewhat remember the notes, but in Russian, do, re, mi, fa, so, re, si. So this is cool. So that's the first thing, like this is really nice. They're such a beautiful pair, you know, couple. And uh, the husband is an accordion player and performer and the wife is uh, and a teacher. He's an instructor at the uh, university level music school. And she's a singer. That's all I know. And they have two beautiful kids, I think, or three. Okay, so the next thing is this. Nice, like good quality. It's a special case. You see, it goes in here. This guy was in here. So, judging by this, you see over here it says Tulska Garmoin. That's the brand, Tula Accordion. With the address, with the phone number, with the email. And it says uh, Bayane Garmoni Accordione, which means uh, button accordion. Uh, folk style button accordion, the one I bought, and uh, piano accordions. So these guys, they make everything, and that's what you get. You get this, but of course this, I had to pay extra for this. 
I hope he remembered to put in the flash drive. Hooray! And it's green. Wow. Oh, this is the... Um, these are the straps for the for the instrument. Wow, this is pretty nice. Check this out. See, like very soft and pretty wide. I don't care if it's leather or it's artificial leather, but as long as they are wide. And, uh, oh, you see, you can uh, hook them up like this in the back, I'm guessing. Well, I'll figure this out later. But that's what you're getting, right? You're getting the case, you're getting the straps. This was separate. And one of the beauties, right, of this, why these instruments are so popular. Okay, see over here, it's broken. Why these instruments are so popular is because they're small. They're much smaller and much lighter. Or, I was afraid he forgot. That's, the, that's what I was looking for, hold on. Let's pause for a second here. So this is from Pavel, that's the extra stuff I bought. So this was together so here I got 110 video lessons, 110 video lessons created by Pavel, the musician. And these are, I see, notes for different uh, lessons. Yeah, I see here, over here it says, uh, lessons 3950, uh, there's some kind of waltz under the Paris sky. So these are, Oh wow, so basically these are attachments for the lessons. Yeah, so this is lessons 1120. Those are notes or music. Yeah, that's how you say it in English, right? Music. This is the music for lessons 1120 and this is the music for lessons one and 10. So I'm guessing they have to be like this. And of course, that's the most important thing, you know, because you can buy any kind of instrument, but what's the point if you cannot play it? And you see right here, you start with these some kind of like a very basic songs. That's what I need. Just start with something simple. Katyusha, Ue Maros Maros. Oh, wow. So after even like 10 lessons, like these, I'm telling you guys, this is, like even this, I'm looking at the titles in Russian, Barinya, Vinovata Li Ya, man, that's what my mom used to sing when they would, uh, you know, a lot of women would gather for like a, over a holiday table, you know, with lots of food and some wine and some vodka, and they would be singing stuff like that and either a cappella or somebody would be accompany, accompanying them either on a guitar or accordion kalinka man this is cool i don't think i think i should be able to do this uh -huh, i see it was open partially so i'm guessing i'm guessing customs was looking at this all right, so that's my, again, this is nothing to do with the accordion purchase, right? This is, this was my second, uh, I think I paid about 100 bucks for all the lessons. And then this was, I forgot, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So, and I have 110 lessons. So it basically it's like a dollar a lesson, which I think it's very, very a reasonable again especially because these are lessons for this particular style of folk accordion with the reduced you will see now in a second so this guy well if you're watching Pavel thank you спасибо okay now how do we get this out I see. 
I probably should do it like this. Oh. Here we have a copy of the agreement. My agreement with the with the seller. And this is a manual on how to use this accordion. Of course everything is in Russian. Oh, there's some pictures. This is cool. Подготовка к работе. <laughs> Preparation for playing. But actually this is cool because they're telling you here that because I was concerned about this, you know, because this is a delicate musical instrument and I will have to either carry it with me all the time in the car or leave it in the truck, right? Because I don't have a house. And I was concerned a little bit about this. What if it gets too hot or too cold? And something like this, they tell you what are the normal conditions for storage. And over here they say anything from plus 15 to plus 25 Celsius. Um, keep it away from the direct sunlight. Da -da 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 -da. So this is useful. I'm definitely going to... I'm going to look and I'm going to read that. Okay. Yeah, this was packaged pretty well. this at the hotel <laughs> man I cannot believe this that I, I had an idea right and I decided to to start learning a Russian folk instrument and then only probably the idea the implementation took about two weeks and then remember if you saw my previous videos i had a lot of trouble with trying to send money to russia and the only way it worked was when i send money to my brother and then he saw and then he sent it to to the seller so from inside Russia it worked but trying to send money from outside man how do you get this out smells nice it smells like you know brings the m memories from from childhood when I had the when my parents bought me that Russian supposed to move like that no like they were saying when you buy an accordion the first thing you do is you check the compression 
And to check the compression, you have to lift it like this. And it has to stay. You know, I don't think it's supposed to, to, to move like that. But at least nothing seems to be damaged. see so I think one of the one of the buttons was was uh, pushed in oh yeah you see because when you when when buttons are not pushed in it's not supposed to open see that's good that's good compression oh wow so loud And that's what it looks like. And this is the basic one, but look how small it is. I remember, you know, <laughs> this what what kids should learn. Not that huge, huge, um, you know, accordion that I, 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 it was like this, like this. It was probably about eight nine kilos because i just talked to my mother and i said do you remember when i when i was doing when i was learning and she said i think you were like eight or nine because i remember i had to carry the accordion for you because it was so heavy she says i used to carry it for you to to that club you know where to that um community center where i was taking Lessons, I like how Tulskaya, Tulskaya, like I like this typeface, like a very old school. It's kind of like what they um, used back in 19th century, very old style typeface. So it says Tulskaya, basically belonging to Tula or made in Tula. Wow. And you see, these are, I think this is an option. This is an option because the standard buttons, you can see the screws in the center. And if you want these with no visible screws, then it's like a 2,000 rubles or something. Uh, but I'm guessing one of the buttons was is a bit hard. That's why it was, you know, when I tried to open it, it was, there was a sound, right? But let's check. Let's check and see how how the um, the important thing is to check that all the buttons work and they create a kind of a normal sound. is uh, they added this little wheel in here and that's adjustment for this you can make it tighter you can make it wow but it smells it smells nice it smells like my how do you
not marked at all. I remember on my uh, on the accordion on the one I played, the major button I think it was C. It had this um, like a special markings on the top, and so this way you could find it because it felt slightly different. Yeah, I think oh maybe it's this one. one button anyway there you have it I, I like the the bellows the bellows are very nice but this basically yeah, this is the most basic the basic with a couple of extra options accordion but I love how small it is it's pretty light uh, it wasn't damaged I like the I like the buttons so now I just need to attach the because it's definitely easier to play when you have the the straps attached because it's hard to to you know pull out the bellows well I guess that's how you do it you just keep the right side on your right leg or the left side on your left leg but you definitely cannot you cannot keep the middle you cannot keep the bellows on your legs because then it's hard to open it but but this thing is pretty loud I don't know how I'm gonna play here at the hotel I'm gonna start learning so I'll do my first lesson today and then hopefully in a couple of uh, months i'll be able to play some uh, basic songs and you see here it has these uh, rubber things so the best way to put it down is like this so that's the best way because here it has nothing it doesn't have these uh, rubber little legs and it's how and that's how when you go inside a store that's how they keep them so this is metal i think this is an option as well this is uh costs more because i think the standard one is is plastic maybe it is plastic oh yeah i think it's plastic yeah it's plastic but yeah, actually the an, an option would be they put a metal in here but everything else is basic and also you see that's what i'm changing on the next one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two three four so it's only 25 buttons 25 buttons and they're saying that you know you can get extra two buttons to make it 27 and that's extra five thousand rubles which is about uh, what so hundred dollars is uh, 7200 so it's like 70 bucks 60 bucks but you really need those extra two buttons like they put them in here you need those extra two buttons to if you want to play everything because 25 buttons I'm just checking so which one was pushed in remember when I picked it up it was playing so one button got stuck somewhere but now they seem all okay so basically yeah this is my learning instrument it's that's what you do right you buy the most basic one I don't care because this is all I could get all these this other one that I bought right so I already paid the um, the deposit and that one is now is going into production but that one because that's a custom one it'll take uh, five months six months to build and that one will be a much higher quality it'll have bigger i'll just go over the options quickly it, that one will have bigger buttons here 
like uh, these are like the standard buttons I think they're like eight millimeters in diameter the op I chose all the options available so it'll have 9.5 millimeter buttons they're bigger and you get one extra base button and then here this part is also made out of I think it's either metal or wood because this is all plastic right here it'll say the same Tulska but here it'll have inlay inlay my initials in Russian as the Sergei Drachov as the and then the key the keyboard the mechanism itself will be much improved so the the keys will be much softer on both ends and that costs a bunch of money that's like I forget two three hundred dollars on under each side and here it'll be different and again it'll, it'll be 27 buttons and I think they do something when you choose an option they, they use different metal here I think maybe no that's the proper one and then they use Italian Italian uh, uh, like threading or something to to do this to the bellows so it makes them stronger so anyway yeah so this is the basic one the one I'm getting hopefully in December when I'm when I'm down there in uh, Russia, it'll be kind of like, it's called custom, Zakaznaya, Zakaznaya Garmoni, custom accordion, and it takes them, you know, five, six months to uh, to make, and that one will be, what is it, like four times, yeah, that one will be four times the price of this one, so trust me that that one will be much nicer, even though I love this, but this is just basically a trainee, trainee instrument but it's so small you know it's unbelievable how small it is and this is all just paint there's no inlays here nothing I think these are metal metal uh, letters so there you have it folks so thank you very much thank you for watching so please subscribe like and I'll be posting now that I have the accordion I'll be posting uh, regular videos about my uh, progress.